Another aspect of uh, Indian philosophy is yoga philosophy. The word says that on the field of dharma, on the field of the gurus, gathered together, my sons and the sons of Pandu gathered to fight. Those who have gathered, they have gathered to fight. It means they have different tendencies, different likings, different natures. That means the whole variety of nature is assembling together. Now this is yoga. Yoga is union. Union of different tendencies coming at one place. So, assembled on the field of dharma, those eager to fight. It's eager to fight and assemble from these two words, these two words throw an inquiry into the field of diversity and uh, the unity that, com that combines them. From these two, two words, Gita is going to, to answer the whole philosophy of, of yoga. And the que query, the, the question is laid in this verse. Another system of, of philosophy is Vedanta. Vedanta deals with the transcendental aspect of absolute existence. Now, the words in the, in the, in the word in the verse says that my, my sons and those of Pandu, those of Pandu and my, they are enemies of one another. My sons are enemies of Pandu. So when the sons of Pandu are contrasted with my sons, that means my sense, the aham tattva, the, the, the element of I, and that which is contrasted to the element of I, what is that? That which contrasts with I is the element of the transcendental consciousness, the transcendental absolute consciousness with the relative individual element of I. The distinction between them is dealt in the Vedanta philosophy. So here is the seed from which the whole of the tree of Vedanta is found in the whole of Bhagavad Gita. Another system of Indian philo philosophy that is found in the first words asking the question is Vaisheshika. Vaisheshika philosophy deals with examining the special qualities of a thing. And these special qualities are found in the, in the first words when it says you know, on the field of Dharma, on the field of the Kuru, here is the adjective, the field of Kuru, that is the field of Dharma. This is specifying the field. They say, those my sons and sons of Pandus assembled together, eager to fight. All these adjectives demand a closer inspection and investigation into the field of uh, special qualities which is dealt with in the field of Vaisheshika philosophy. Hmm? These are, the, these are the different systems of, of philosophy. Another, hmm? one more, Sankhya philosophy. Sankhya means uh, they count the, the elements in creation, how many elements in creation, how many elements go to make the relative field of life. They say the aham tattva, the element of I, the ego, the intellect, the mind, five senses, five pranas, hmm? and the five, uh, five elements of earth, water, air, space and fire. All these five elements, five pranas, hmm? five life breaths, five senses of action, five of perception, and the mind, intellect, ego. These 24 elements are supposed to constitute the entire relative field of creation. And the Sankhya philosophy claims that proper and thorough knowledge and experience of every element of uh, every of these 24 elements will bring liberation to man, liberation from bondage. Now liberation from bondage is the purpose of every, every school of thought, but they have their own special ways of approach. And the, we find that the words of the first verse give, a, give an extensive field for all these six systems of Indian philosophy to be developed and this has been developed because it's only through the system, through the clarification of 
uh, of the reality of life from these six different angles of vision that one could really live that eternal freedom in life. You know, there are six. Why? Because for the perfect knowledge of anything, you have to, have to look it from six directions. From front, from behind, from right and left, from above and from below. So, seeing a thing from six different directions alone will give you the correct perception and the full knowledge about a thing. Therefore, when the song of life is to be sung, it is, it is, to, be, it is to be sung from six different um, directions, then only it will present to us the full value of life and the final complete fulfillment to living. One important true system of Indian philosophy is Karma Mimansa, developed by Jemini, the son of, uh, the disciple of Vyasa. Karma Mimansa deals with the theory of karma. And uh, what is the word that uh, opens the way for the detailed study of Karma Mimansa, the theory of karma, uh, in the whole of Bhagavad Gita? The, the last word of the first two words, it says, tell me, Sanjaya, what the uh, what my people and those of Pandavas do, this doing, what did they do? Enquiry into the action, into the nature of action. This enquiry into the nature of action is developed throughout the Bhagavad Gita hmm, to bring out a, a, a full perception. All the theory of karma and karma yoga is, is the whole the whole uh, range of the philosophy of action, karma mimansa. And the word that is uh, responsible to open the chapter of, of Sankhya philosophy is the I. He says, my, my sons and the sons of Pandu. My. Now the my is the fear of the I. In order to have a clear knowledge about I, we have to have to have, we have to know the different aspects of life, all the inner and outer aspects of life. Inner and outer aspects of life need the knowledge of all those 24 elements, which are the, the, the primal factors for the Sankhya philosophy. So like this, Sankhya and Mimansa, and Yoga and Vedanta and Nyaya and Vaisheshita, these are the six systems of Indian philosophy. Indian philosophy is one compact whole. These six systems are the visions of knowledge from six different directions. Knowledge from six different directions only gives us, only makes us the whole knowledge and knowledge of the fullness of life is given by all these six different systems of philosophy contained in the whole of the Song of the Lord. Hmm? All these points are very are brought out in great detail. It's a very great fun to read this commentary. And because it has been a joy to me, I hope it will be a joy to every reader. And not, to, not only be a joy of a superficial nature, it will get grounded in his soul the, the sole purpose and the way and the fulfillment of his life through attaining this consciousness through transcendental meditation. Yes. And the most fascinating part of our commentary of Bhagavad Gita is that we find every system of philosophy dealt with in every verse of Bhagavad Gita. There are 700 verses of, in Bhagavad Gita and every verse gives us the teaching of every system of philosophy. And then the best part of it is that every philosophy finds its full, eh? every system of philosophy finds its fulfillment through the regular practice of transcendental meditation. The transcendental meditation is the, is the essential core of the teaching of every system of Indian philosophy which uh, goes to give us a, a formula, complete formula for a life in fulfillment.
जय गुरुदेव